imagine going through a folder and it says 4-1, 4-2, 4-3, and you're trying to find a certain beat. I feel like personally, I would never find the beat that I'm looking for. An actual name will stay in your memory better. Name your beats. Even if the name is stupid as fuck, and producers, let's be honest, most of the names are stupid as fuck. What's up guys? I'm No Mass and I'm here to show you the technology behind music production. If you make beats or record music and you're a low-key nerd, you found the right channel. If you watch until the end of the video, I'm going to share a little cheat code that I made that will help you speed up your workflow when managing your beat project files. So I've been producing for over 11 years now, and I know that if I didn't start organizing my projects early on, that it would just drive me insane. Navigating through an unorganized file system can honestly drive you insane. Since I'm pursuing music as a career and not just a hobby, it's motivated me to take productivity and just organization a lot more seriously than when I was just doing it as a hobby. So as a result, many of these tips will be helpful in boosting your productivity and your organization. But even if you're creating music as a hobby, your future self will thank you for starting now. Let me know in the comments how you're currently organizing your beats. I want to hear how you guys are doing it. So first, I sort my project folders by year. You can of course change this to a different interval, but this has always worked for me. Once you click one of these folders, this is how I have it organized. The unsorted folder is basically where I save any new beats that I make. I may not know how to organize a beat I make right away, so I'll just save it here for now. At a certain point in time, maybe like once or twice a week, you can review the beats in this folder and move them into one of the following folders to sort them. The loops folder, as you might guess, is where I put projects that I consider loops. For example, I might open FL Studio and create a really dope melody, and that's it. I'll move it to this folder and maybe repurpose it in the future as a loop for a sample pack. In the library folder, I put projects that can be used for music libraries. This is a project that sounds good but doesn't fit into contemporary music, so it wouldn't really make sense to use as a beat. This is something that I've been gradually putting more time into, so I have a folder here for it. The finished beats is any project that I've completely finished and uploaded to the internet. Although I haven't implemented it yet, I actually have a more efficient location for these files, which I will talk about later in this video. Beats to finish is basically any beat that has potential and that I want to finish. You can even set deadlines for yourself as to when you want to finish every beat that you drop into this folder. And all other beats is the projects that I started but just don't want to finish. It's basically just here for archival purposes. If this isn't important to you, you can just delete the beats that would normally go in this folder. A lot of producers may disagree with me on this, but I feel like you should never ever name your beats as days. Imagine going through a folder and it says 4-1, 4-2, 4-3, and you're trying to find a certain beat. I feel like personally, I would never find the beat that I'm looking for. An actual name will stay in your memory better. Name your beats, even if the name is stupid as fuck. And producers, let's be honest, most of the names are stupid as fuck. So the store folder is where I store every finished beat that I upload to the internet. Again, I'm sorting it by years. So once you get into one of these folders, I have a folder for every beat. Going into one of these folders, I have all of the tagged, untagged, Instagram preview, and stem files for the specific beat. I always make sure to include my website and the BPM in the file name. You never know who may get their hands on these, so you should definitely label it accordingly so people can find you easily. If you want to go the extra mile, you can even include the scale in there as well. Next, we have the artwork folder. Pretty self-explanatory, it's the artwork associated with the beat, and the same thing with the video folder. Although I haven't started doing it yet, I actually recommend putting the corresponding project file in this folder as well. I tend to name my beats differently from what I initially saved them as, so you could either do this or just rename and keep them all in the finished beats folder. That's totally up to you. So I was getting frustrated when it came to making folders for new beats in my store folder. It just became a bit tedious so I made a script that automatically copies the file structure of a specific folder without including the contents, so just the folders. It just saves you a bit of time from making the folder from scratch. So as you can see here, it's like a quick shortcut to do something that you'll probably do a thousand times as a producer. It's really easy to make one of these. First open notepad and copy and paste the script from the description and then edit the folder paths. The left one is the one that you want to copy and the right one is the one that you want to create. I recommend you leave the name as new beat since then you can rename it after that. 
After you finish this, save it as new beat.bat and then test it out by double clicking. It should copy the folder structure of the path from the left and create a new folder in the path on the right. Unfortunately, this only works on Windows, but if you have a Mac and want to see a Mac version, let me know in the comments. And that's pretty much it. If you're watching, I really appreciate it and I hope you found this helpful. If you did, I'd really appreciate if you can like this video so other people can find it. And if you like this type of content, please subscribe because I am dropping more videos like this. And maybe even a part two if you guys are feeling it. Until next time, peace.